Welcome to Uriah Heep, the Magician's Podcast. I'll be covering every studio song the band has recorded and every bonus track that I can find. Each week we'll go over a new song from the beginning to where they are currently, and as they keep adding albums, I'll keep adding shows. Let the deep dive party begin. In the magic garden, some were singing, some were dancing. Hello and welcome to another episode of Your Right Heat the Magicians Podcast. I am your host, Scott Haskin, and we are going through this wonderful album, season 21. I still can't believe it that we're this far in already. We're talking about Wake the Sleeper, and today's song is Tears of the World. There's some pretty damn big tears, I would imagine. But let's check out the song. Let's get into it. I'm excited. I hope you guys are too. Here we go. Well, it's very possible that I have completely lost my mind at this point. But there is something about this that reminds me of what would be a faster and heavier version of an early song called Real Turned On. I don't know what it is about the riff exactly, uh, but it it really reminds me of that. And um, there are certainly some similarities, uh, to be sure. But I like this. I like how it just kicks in. It's heavy right off the bat. It's active. It's energetic. It's going places. And so are we right into the next part. Come and share my moon, let's stand. Things of beauty everywhere. So much love here is a fair. Because the tears of the world keep falling. I got the best of everything. A better world I could not dream. You should see. There is a crazy perfect balance going on between guitars and keys. And I've noticed that so far on this album, that seems to be a fairly consistent thing, but uh, it just sounds fantastic, that blend between the two of them. And then Bernie's voice is coming through crystal clear over the top. He sounds really strong, uh, really love the sound. Drums and bass are, are really powerful. This is just the sound of this album compared to especially the last couple that we've done. It really blows me away how different it is. I really like the sound of the backing vocals here. Um, it's kind of like it's it's coming back to that old style of backing vocals that we're used to hearing from Uriah Heep, right? We went uh, a few seasons really with uh, some changes in the way that they did that, a lot of backing off of the way that they did it, no high harmonies, that kind of thing. But this is a little bit more of uh, going back to the roots, I would say, but in a much heavier sound. I really like how the sound of mixed guitar is merging with the keyboards as well. Um, there's just something about those two tonalities that are are meshing together so perfectly. And uh, you could hear, you know, when Mick is on the note and then the keyboard's accent, uh, you can hear it a little more clearly there. But overall, that combination of the two is just really strong and powerful on the song. Well, on every face, you're in the fight to win the play. Really tasty way to duplicate some of the lead vocal uh, to really thicken it up. And, and Bernie's really good at that, too. He sings very, very precisely, but he just has a great sound when he, you know, when he does his own uh, duplication. But I, I just love this. The groove is great. I love how simple the music is behind the verse. Very, very easy. But 
uh, it works. It works perfectly. It really backs off to support the vocals. And then the music, you know, the musicians are going to have their time to shine, too. So I think we're about to change up into another part here. So before we do, I just wanted to say, I really like the way that Russell's playing on this album. His drums sound fantastic, but he's throwing in a lot of just unexpected things. There's little subtle things like changing to a China symbol in the background of the part of the chorus. And that love those drum fills that he's doing. Um, they're really aggressive, but they don't sound like they're taking anything away from the song. You know, the song itself is fast, but not aggressive. And his drums are actually fitting right in. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I love the dynamics on the ride cymbal there. It sounds fantastic. Um, it really goes well with the backing vocals that come in from the chorus. Uh, just great stuff. I mean, this is just killer progressive rock music, right? Love what Mick was playing during that part where he was uh, a little more out in front. Uh, just, you know, I've heard him do that kind of stuff before. I don't know what you call that style of playing, but I love the sound of it. Um, it sounds like so much is going on, but when you watch him play it, it, it looks so simple. Uh, that could also just be because it's Mick and he knows how to make things look very simple. Uh, love the drum fills in these, uh, you know, in between these stopping points. And uh, we're, we're heading into a keyboard swell here. So something else is coming. But I just wanted to say at this point, I mean, this is some great progressive music. This is a whole new band. It really is. I don't even know where to go. Uh, that was fantastic. I, that is, to me, you know, just to to my ears, is that is Mick at his best. That is just a smoking solo. Great stuff played. I love the support of the band. You've got a few, you know, string runs in there from Trevor cutting through, which are really nice because the bass is the one thing I am kind of having a little bit of a challenge hearing on this album. The drums are very heavy and overpowering, um, but I think between the keyboard and the bass drums, it's probably hitting some of those same frequencies from the bass guitar. So um, it, it is a little harder to hear the dynamics of what he's playing. He's also, his sound isn't as sharp on this album either. There's not a lot of high-end EQ on it, whereas before you could hear him cutting through a little bit more. So I think it's a combination of those things that's putting Trevor a little bit more in the background than normal. I think this is one of those cases where you feel the bass more than you hear it, specifically what it's doing. Like if it wasn't there, it would be very noticeable. But being that it is there, you're not like, oh, wow, I heard the bass do this. You know, it's uh, it's a little bit further uh, into the mix. But this this is just a killer song. I love everything I'm hearing. I'm hearing a high harmony in the background that sounds like it's from Bernie. It's really subtle um, the way that they've mixed it in, but it sounds just fantastic. And I love the the tone of it, you know, the blend of, of his voice. He's so good at 
uh, you know, like I said, he's so good at working with his own voice and layering tracks together. Um, I would say one of the best. Great song. Great song. Finishing it off with another concert style ending, but uh, a very powerful song. Love that we got some second solo work from Mick. Uh, Really powerful stuff. Love that. And um, yeah, a a really solid, solid piece of music here, guys. This album is just shaping up to be a solid hard rock album. This one actually, you know, using those those uh, blues scales or progressions for the verse was really nice. Kept it really simple. But definitely a heavy rock and roller here, and uh, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I hope you guys did too. Great podcast episode, if I do say so myself. We will see you in the next one, guys. Cheers. Thank you for joining me on this episode of Uriah Heap, the Magician's Podcast. If you have enjoyed this show, please consider going over to Apple Podcasts or your favorite podcast outlet, leaving a rating or a review. Be sure to subscribe to make sure that you are notified when new episodes are available. Please be sure to share this podcast with your fellow Uriah Heap enthusiasts and anyone who you think would like Uriah Heap, which should be everyone. And if you are so inclined, please feel free to contribute to the Patreon account. And if you are not a Patreon subscriber, you can also pay through the PayPal link on the website listed in the show links below. I would also like to thank Uriah Heap for their very generous support of the show. And thank you guys for listening. We'll see you in the next episode. Happy days.